Why I don't recommend a personal trainer for losing weight? This is a true story. A couple of days ago, an ex-client from abroad messaged me asking if I could recommend any personal trainer because she gained weight. She had lost around 11 kgs, but still want to lose 7 kgs more and felt that she need a personal trainer. This is very common. I've heard Jordan Peterson say in an interview that in therapy, the therapist usually need to ask questions instead of giving advice. If the therapist gives advice and the person succeeds or we, the follow-up question is who owns, the patient or the therapist? The patient will feel only half of the victory because they know it wasn't their decision. Over time, this can develop into an addiction where every time they encounter a problem, they seek advice instead of trying to deal with the issue themselves, effectively living other people's life. The same principle applies the other way around. If the patient loses, who bears the consequences? The patient or the therapist? The same applies to losing weight. It's not that I don't know what to do. I do know, but I find excuses like only the personal trainer can motivate me. So I start seeking advice, hire a personal trainer, get motivated, achieve the results that I want in two, three months, and everyone is happy. The personal trainer get paid and I get the results. And the follow-up question is, are the results mine or his? Then we see on social media lots of reviews for different personal trainers. Something like, he changed my life. But hiring a personal trainer is like paying someone to give you advice and not guidance. This leads to associating my success with their advice. And every single time I encounter a problem regarding my weight, my brain tells me that I need advice again, leading to an addiction. The same thing happened with my ex-client. We had sessions seven years ago for one to three months. During this period, of seven years, she tried to go to the gym on and off with little consistency. Because life happens, she managed to gain around 19 kgs. Now she has lost 11 kilograms only through diet. But it is quite hard to move forward from this point because losing weight only with food impacts your mood, concentration, and you have a very big chances to lose muscle mass as well. So because of that, she seek advice but what she really needs is guidance to incorporate healthy habits into her life, like exercising and eating healthy. The difference between this tool, guidance and advice, is that advice is follow my instructions and guidance is what do you think got you in this situation? What do you think should be the next step? Do you think you can start from here? Can we create a plan? Can we create a plan of exercising? What do you think are the simplest exercises that you can do at this moment in time? That is why I don't recommend a personal trainer if you want to lose weight. Guidance is what helps you to create healthy habits for the long term because it pushes you to work with yourself and find answers to lots of questions about yourself. And in the end, your victory will be yours without any doubt. So try seek for guidance instead of advice.